Sure. So the, what I was talking about is why everybody seems so pissed at each other all the time, yeah. and it never stops. And what I was suggesting is that we've lost a common sense of vision for the country. Uh, we don't agree on what the meaning of human life is. We don't agree on what our purpose here is, and we don't agree on a communal purpose that we ought to be forwarding. And so instead, we fill that purpose-shaped hole in our hearts with anger at each other. Right? We, we, our, my purpose is to be angry at you because you disagree with me on X, because you, I, you somehow compromise my value as a person who, who believes X or is of X biology. Uh, and I think that's really dangerous. I think that we have to get back to fundamental principles and talk about what is it that we agree on. And if we don't agree on anything, then this is going to go in a bad direction as a country. Um, and what about that, that split like on college campuses? Like, how Do you think it's more college campuses are more polarizing than they've been in the past? Or what have you seen? I mean, I know you've been visiting a lot of colleges lately. Um, I mean, it's definitely more polarized than it's been in the past. I mean, I've spoken on college campuses for 16 years. Um, I spoke at Berkeley two years ago, and there was no security. I spoke this year, and they had 600 police officers. So uh, yes, it's, it's gotten a lot worse. Uh, and I wouldn't attribute all that to Trump. I think that we're living in a very polarized moment, and that seems to me to have started uh, really picking up steam in 2014, 2015, 2016 with the Ferguson riots and what was going on in Baltimore and the Black Lives Matter campaign, uh, and then that morphed into more generalized outrage on a variety of issues. Um, but it's, uh, it's dangerous. I mean, attributing bad motives to people without actively investigating their motives is a dangerous business. Um, how would you say you were received here versus some like someplace like Berkeley? So, I mean, I think that the students generally, the students who want to come see me always receive me warmly, and this is true every campus I go to. Um, and that's not just the people who agree with me. I, I, as you, uh, you weren't in the room, but I have a general rule, which is that anyone who disagrees with me, if they have a question, they get to go first. And I, and I, I you know, I asked who in the room disagreed. It was like a couple of people, and we gave them an ovation. Because if you, if you disagree and you show up, good for you. I mean, good for you for coming and hearing a perspective that differs from your own. Um, so it was a warm reception. I always wish that more people who disagreed would show up because I want to have a discussion and because I hope to convince people. Um, but, I mean, the students here are terrific, and I thought some of them had really top-notch questions.